Hi, I'm Lucy. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoy the video. As a teenager, I really didn't realize that my siblings, my mother and myself, were really actually homeless most of the time when we moved into a motel. And as a matter of fact, this time it wasn't so bad. If anything, we had a lot of fun. Because this time was different, I guess we were still too young to realize the severity of our situation. As kids, we just saw this as just another one of our many adventures of constantly moving around from one place to another. But this one in particular for us felt more like we were on vacation than anything else. Even though by now we had another addition to our family with the birth of my now youngest sister. We were now one adult and four kids living in a very small motel room that only fit two twin size beds and a small size crib for the baby. Even though we were cramped for room and didn't have any personal belongings except for a few items of casual clothes, we really didn't need much because we were now living in Miami Beach, right across the street from the ocean. So we'd get up in the morning, put on our bathing suits, and go running across the street to the beach, where we would spend all day swimming in the ocean, playing on the sand, or also swimming in the motel's pool. We would do this every day till nighttime. Then at night, we'd walk along the beach till we went back home to our little motel room to go to sleep. For the first time in my young life, I felt free because I didn't have the adult responsibilities that had been forced upon me as a child. Even though I still had to tend to and take care of the new baby, it was still a relief not to have to worry about other things on top of that. For the short-lived period of our stay on the beach, I was able to lose myself in my thoughts of my harsh reality by diving in the ocean and swimming under water with my eyes open so I could see and feel and experience everything under the ocean. For as long as I could hold my breath, and then I would continue swimming on top of the water as far as I could go out or until I got tired. And then I would just turn over and just lay flat on my back and float away where I would just allow the waves to just carry me back and forth where the only thing I could hear was the sound of the ocean where time had no meaning for me because I knew sooner rather than later we'd all be back on a Greyhound bus again traveling for days where I never knew because I n was never told where our next stop would be. So if I could stay on that ocean for the rest of my life and become a mermaid, that was my childhood fantasy and I guess some sort of escape. Thanks for watching. Please click down below where it says subscribe and click the notification bell to never miss a new video.